What's up guys, Pimber Games here and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make your own mini arsenal popsicle stick bombs inspired by Grant Thompson and they go off with a snap. So for all, this project all you'll need is some popsicle sticks so go down to the store and buy some and for this first one you're going to need four popsicle sticks. Make sure you align them like this in a V shape with the top one overlapping the other. Then put this next one on overlapping both. Hold those firmly together like so and then slide the fourth stick under the first and under the second and over the third and you've just created the most basic version of our popsicle stick bombs this one is the least exciting but it will always go off with a snap just like the others now for this next one you'll need six popsicle sticks and this one's called the four square so what you're going to do is make a cross with the middle one overlapping in the center and then you're going to slide these next two under the vertical middle one and then after this you're going to want to take your next two hold the all the other ones down slide it over the two under the two end ones and over the middle one just like that and do the same with the other side while holding it all in place and just like that you've created the next simple version of our popsicle stick bombs this one goes off with a slightly sharper snap and is actually easier to build it takes more popsicle sticks and there's some cool variations that you can do with this one though. So this next one is a variation of the four square. You need six. And just do the same thing you did for the four square. Assemble it all together. This one is called the flying fish. And if you use the right colors, it will kind of resemble some sort of exotic fish. Which is pretty cool. So just tuck that all in. And then slide these ones in. And then slide these ones in as well. And you'll see you have a mini four square. And if you... Pull out or rids it, push it, push in on some of the corners, or even pulling out on some of the corners, you'll see it kind of squishes and give it kind of the look of an exotic fish. This one is way more tensioned, so it'll go off with an even sharper snap. This next one, you need five sticks, and you're going to want to align them like this with the middle one on the bottom, just exactly like I've done there. Then take this next one, weave it under the middle one and over to the two side ones. And the next one do the opposite, under the two side ones and over the middle one. And then after that, you've just created an extremely volatile popsicle stick bomb called the hand grenade. This one is the most prone to go off. It will shoot off with a super loud snap. That Well, not super loud, but it will startle somebody. This next one is a variation of the boomerang called the five point throwing star. So assemble the boomerang just like you did before but with a slightly skinnier V. And then slide this stick between these ones and around this side one. And you can even put it together so it looks just like a five point throwing star. Mine's not the greatest but it's not a very easy popsicle stick bomb to do. See how this one looks. This is the best popsicle stick bomb in my opinion because it looks just like a throwing start and it snaps off just like the others now this last one is one I made and this is really easy to make and I think I'm gonna see if you guys can do it so there you go now you know how to turn a handful of popsicle sticks into an arsenal of snapping weaponry thank you all for watching I'll see you all in the next video thank you for watching